Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to round decimals to the nearest thousandth. And we have two examples that we're going to go through together in order to get this down. So let's jump right into number one, where we have 7,929 ten thousandths. The first thing we need to do is find the place that we are rounding. And in this case, it's the thousandths place. So let's underline that digit, and we have a two there. We need to look next door now, and it's always going to be to the right. So that digit to the right is either going to be five or more, and we raise the score, which means round up, or is that digit going to be four or less, and we let it rest? Well, in this case, we have a nine. So that's five or more, and we need to round up. So our rounded answer, is going to be 793 thousandths. When we round whole numbers, we're used to changing all digits to the right of a rounded place to zeros. For decimals, you can cut off at the rounded place because that zero is just a placeholder. It doesn't change the value of that decimal. So any decimal with zeros to the right, those zeros are just placeholders. Again, it doesn't change the value of that decimal. So let's move to number two, where we have one and 5,712 ten thousandths. So let's find the place that we are rounding. It's the thousandths, and we have a one there. We need to look next door. Is that five or more raise the score, or four or less, let it rest. Well, that two is four or less, so we let that one rest. And our rounded answer is going to be one and 571 thousandths. Again, we cut that decimal off at the thousandths. We don't need to um, have a zero to the right there. You cut it off at the rounded place. So there you have it. There's how you round decimals to the nearest thousandth. I have other rounding videos. I dropped all those links down in the description. I hope this helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.